What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? My name is Prodigy, and welcome to another video on the channel. Today, I wanted to cover another video talking about the Union Cross and Dark Road app shutting down. Now, these are some more details behind the app shutdown that I didn't talk about in my previous two videos. I mentioned them slightly, but I wanted to talk about this in one entire video because I felt like this was something really weird that I felt like needed some more attention because I see a lot of confusion about this in the entire community about what exactly is going on with dark road is dark Road going to be rushed are they ever going to finish the story a lot of people assume that this shutdown meant that they weren't going to be finishing the story for these games that is not the case they are going to be finishing the story for both dark road and union cross the shutdown is simply something they're doing to go with these stories ending and the shutdown is less of a shutdown and more of a i guess preservation of these titles I guess you can say I don't know that might not be the best way to describe it but basically what's going on as I said in the last video with Union Cross Union Cross is going to be going completely theater mode no gameplay but you will be able to watch all the cutscenes on your mobile app or whatever you decide to play Union Cross on or watch it on you'll be able to watch all of the cutscenes on your mobile app in a theater mode type format similar to how the other Kingdom Hearts games all of the other Kingdom Hearts games have a theater mode where you can watch all of the cutscenes individually Union Cross is going to be doing that and going completely offline and that is what the 4.4.0 update is going to be doing the quote shutdown of this app as we've been calling it because they're shutting down all online functionalities for the game which is basically everything that's playable in the game Dark Road on the other hand is not quite doing that but it is going to be going away for quite a lengthy time period for a decent portion of this year it seems. As I read in my last video, with the 4.4.0 update, you will be unable to play Dark Road at all. It will be playable, however, after the 5.0 update which will be coming in september it's planned for the end of september closer to october likely but it could be delayed who knows what happens with the 5.0 update what's going to be happening is you're going to be able to enjoy the story and the battles in the main quest for dark road similar to what we have been doing for the past couple of months since dark road's release in fall you'll be able to replay the entire story in theater mode the story will be unlocked up to the ending however and the rest of the stuff here is all the basic stuff that we've already had in dark road earning bp materials and world battle level up and accessories and whatnot you'll be able to experience the entire story of dark road once 5.0 is released basically instead of this monthly weekly update system that they've been doing with union cross and dark road kind of this chapter format they're going to be releasing the entire story all of the chapters assumingly at once in September. The reason I say this, if you didn't interpret that when I read it the first time, they say you will enjoy the story and battles in the main quest and you'll be able to replay the story in theater mode. And under that, it says the story will be unlocked up to the ending. So yes, the story will be unlocked all the way up to the ending with the theater mode. So you'll be able to just log on to Dark Road. I don't know if you have to play it or anything, but it seems like you'll just be able to go into theater mode and watch all of the cutscenes. And that is exactly what I'm probably going to be doing. Dark Road will still keep a lot of its playable functionalities. You will still be able to purchase cards in Dark Road. I don't know how the jewel system is going to work exactly. Missions, events, PvE, deals, and the present box will no longer be available following the end of service. In accordance with the closure of deals, shop points will no longer be available as well. It is recommended to use all shop points by the end of service. And that end of service maintenance is going to be happening with 4.4.0 so that's what they mean by that but dark road once this update comes out in late september uh will be completely playable and will basically be the only playable experience of this app as dark road already was a entirely offline game so this shouldn't be anything new to be honest it is weird they're shutting down the entire game until this update releases so i hope that everyone who didn't have a chance to grind in dark road doesn't 
doesn't have to play through a whole grindy mobile game that you're just leaving on on your desk while you walk away and do something else just to get the story hopefully you are able to just go into theater mode and watch everything there as they're implying here by listing that story will be unlocked up to the ending under the theater mode um your level and your bp and your main quest progress and your album and everything in dark road will apparently still be there when this update does go live as they list in the transfer data section can't say the same about union cross a lot of your stuff won't be there but you will keep your records of everything but union cross won't be playable so you're just going to have your name title union dark road is keeping everything so dark road will still be a playable game come september but they're just going to be releasing all of the story at once and this is in preparation for phase two of kingdom hearts all of this is in preparation for phase two which they are going to be doing a big showcase of likely we don't know exactly how but they're going to be doing a big 20th anniversary thing for kingdom hearts whether it's at a big gaming convention something around that time period whether it's its own kingdom hearts solo event that's covering all of this we don't exactly know but kingdom hearts 20th anniversary is going to be a big deal and a lot of things are likely going to be announced there and this is going to be this is going to be crazy i mean we still don't have a name to the saga yet that's why i'm calling it phase two until we get a name to the saga that nomura will likely uh dub for us um come the 20th anniversary we're, we're going to just have to call it phase two or may, maybe make up a name for the saga I don't know, you guys have any name recommendations for this saga? The Azora Saga, Verum Rex Saga, Master of Masters Saga, I don't know. Versus 13 Saga, let me stop. But to clarify once more, Dark Road will be finishing. Dark Road story will be concluded. It's not being cut short. Union Cross and Dark Road are very, very canon materials. Very, very canon pieces in the Kingdom Hearts universe. So these are not being uncanonized because they're getting shut down or anything. They are not scrapping Union Cross and Dark Road. They are just simply stopping the gameplay functionalities of Union Cross and compiling all its story including the next update which will be the final chapter into a theater mode similar to a daze or a recoded or a key back cover even think of it like that that's what they're doing with union cross except no remastered cutscenes or simply just porting all the cutscenes into theater mode but Dark Road, it will keep most of its player functionalities in September. So all of summer, most of spring, throughout the beginning of fall, we will not be able to play Dark Road. But when it does come back at the end of September, the story will be finished. And we will basically have a completed game release for Dark Road. That game will be done. Done, done, done. Anyhow though, that will be all for today's video. I just want to clear up some confusion about Dark Road because I saw a lot of comments on my tweets in my community tab under my videos about people talking about Dark Road or Union Cross being just canceled, their stories not being finished, people are worried about their stories being rushed potentially. None of that is happening. They're simply finishing these stories now so they can focus on Phase 2. These stories have been going on for years, years. And it's going to be sad to see these mobile games like go, but their stories will be preserved for all to enjoy likely for free. So I will be looking forward to that. But until then, we have Union Cross to look forward to. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, share the video with a friend or family member. And last but not least, if you have not already and want to become a part of the Union, all you have to do is hit that red subscribe button down below. My name is Prodigy, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out, you guys. Bye.